the uh, associate professor from Tehran University, uh, Dr. Uh, Godars Rashtiani, uh, with his presentation on Persian historiography in Central Asia during Tsarist period, he studied Tarihi Jadidi Tashkent. Arayi Rashtiani, the floor is uh, yours. Thank you very much, Akwata, for your warm words. Uh, hello to our colleagues, and uh, thank you uh, to the organizers of this uh, conference, especially uh, Faranel. Uh, Dulat University and uh, other institutions. Uh, the topic of my speech uh, focuses on introducing one of the most important historiographical sources of uh, Central Asia at the beginning of the Russification uh, process of this region, especially in Uzbekistan. In fact, it is very important to know the situation of historiography in Central Asia, especially in Khanat of Bukhara and Khanat of Fuqand, before uh, of uh, the Tezdaris Russia domination. With uh, this knowledge, it is uh, possible to better understand the change that the domination of Tezdaris Russia and the Russification made on the historiography situation in Central Asia and to achieve a better understanding of modernity and Jadidism uh, movement in this region. Uh, we know that uh, with the establishment of the Safavid uh, government in Iran and its uh, approximate uh, simultaneity with the <coughs> establishment of the uh, Shaybani dynasty or Abu Khair Khariyan in Bukhara, uh, despite long competition and wars, glacial cultural relations and glacial uh, civilizational influences were taking their course and continued apart from political relations. One of the fields of these cultural relations was historiography in Central Asia in the 16 to 19th century, uh, where the Persian language and Persian sources played an uh, important role in the continuity of historiography in Central Asia. Tarikh Jadidi Tashkent, the modern history of Tashkent, is one of the examples of these two way cultural relations. It was written at the same time as. Uh, Russian domination in uh, Central Asia in the second half of the 19th century um, in Tashkent in Persian language. Uh, Muhammad Saleh Khojeh Tashkandi was uh, born in Tashkent in 1830 and in his uh, life he experienced the period of the rule of Muhammad Ali Khan Kugandi until the last Khan of Hukan Khanat. He is one of the most uh, influential scholars of Tashkent and the teacher of uh, Sayyid Khudayar Khan school. And some of boys of uh, Khan was also among his students. At the age of uh, 36, in 1866, uh, Khaja Tashkandi was uh, uh, present in battle of Tashkent and entered the battlefield. Uh, hence, a complete uh, description of important historical event of Tashkent before uh, uh, the war and during the war with the Russians and after the uh, capture and domination of uh, Tashkent by the Russians, as well as the sense he is narrating the war in which he was present and witnessed. Uh, according to the tradition of the historiography, he was writing a history from Hazrat Adam to his own time, which is about half of the book, which starts with the history of the prophet and ends, uh, ends with the history of the sultans of the Khugand in Emirat or Khugand Khanat. Uh, to write the first part of this book, which is related to the 
three was his story, Khaja Tashkandi, according to his own writing, used uh, historical sources such as Tariq Qaysari, Tariq Al Osman, Tariq Jahangushai, Zafarnami, Taimuri, Rosa to Safa, Tariq Sayyid Rabe, Tariq Mugim Khani, Tariq Babur Khani, Ajayibul Tabakat, Tariq Nadir Shahi, Tufatul Khani, Tariq Shahrukh Khani, Divan Managab Hazrat Khajahrar, Tariq Jamu Tawariq, Tariq Ferishti Akbar Shahi, right in India, Niftahul Tawariq Matlal Ulum and Tariq Mulun Oshag Kasani and other sources. Uh, he continued his history writing until the age of uh, 54 by uh, 1884 and wrote a history of uh, Farganivali, the political, cultural, social, and religious situation and customs, as well as uh, natural and unnatural events, and the political relation of Kogan Khanid with the Russian and other Emirates and other governments, as well as the Sovereign policy. And he had described the Russians and the situation of city of Tashkent about this period and has written the role of the political actors of Khogan Emirate on the eve, eve of the Russian invasion. This book is also, North Force is in terms of identity uh, issues. In this book, a useful uh, um, representation of the historical identity of Uzbekistan has been made in Mogarona of Central Asia. A new identity that begins with Chinggis Khan, Babur Khan, and Amir Taimur, and continues with the Khans of the Minx dynasty in Khong and uh, Emirate, and the Emirs of Mangit dynasty in the Emirate of Bukhara. The three Figures of Chinggis, Babur, and Amir Taimur play a very important role in the history of identity formation. And Muhammad Saleh uh, Khoje pays a special attention to Amir Taimur in his history. The most important part of the book is uh, the events between uh, 1850 to 1887 in Tashkent. Because Muhammad Saleh was present in important uh, government meetings and meetings of Tashkent elders, and even meeting of um, Russians with the Tashkent Khojes and uh, the Peace uh, Treaty Assembly and General uh, General Chernyayev meeting with Tashkent elders, he has narrated uh, those meetings in his history. By reading this book, it becomes clearer how Central Asia developed in the second half of the 19th century at the same time as the rule of the Russians. The most valuable events in this book include the Battle of uh, Tashkent in uh, 1868. Khaja uh, Tashkandi was uh, present in the sense and uh, narrated the events he saw with his own eyes and showed uh, such skill in this work that the reader of the text can imagine himself in uh, that scene. Uh, Khaja Tashkandi paid the great attention to the collecting and the news of his time and validating it and the emphasis uh, that he didn't pay attention to external circumstances in his history. In addition to uh, building, uh, in addition to being uh, a, a scholar of religious uh, sciences and uh, seminary teachers, he also had the great uh, comment over Persian poetry and literature, such as writing a poem called uh, uh, and the share of Saadi, Hafiz, and Ferdowsi and others. Muhammad Saleh showed a correct understanding of his time and had a, a true understanding of political and the social condition of his time. Khaja Tashkandi expresses this uh, certification 
with the way of governance of the Khanat and believes the operation, uh, excuse me, operation uh, that the rulers and the governors has down to people of the region. On the other hand, he evaluates the invasion of the Russian in Central Asia differently from the attacks that were made in the history of Fargane Valley and uh, even from the cantons of Khan Bukhara to territory of Khugan uh, Emirat. It, uh, it is well understand that the Russian attack to Tashkent is different from all previous historical attacks. His approach in the history is a, a socio-political approach and um, he has paid attention to the contemporary uh, history of various ethnic groups, especially the Uzbeks. The author information about the weather, agricultural uh, situation, social situation, and even the biography in the chapters of the book has uh, doubled its importance. Uh, there are many interesting points and uh, suitable hints in the approach of the book to the uh, people and the other ethnic groups living uh, in this area, like Qibshaqs, Bukharians, Khwarezmian, Turkmen's, uh, Qazaqs, Delgis, and other peoples in Fargane, Samarkand, uh, and other ethnic groups. And it can, uh, it can be measured and analyzed with the uh, current uh, social atmosphere of this uh, 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 region. Uh, it is, was a very, very briefly uh, presentation about the Tariq uh, Jadidi Tashkan. And uh, thank you very much for uh, your, uh, this very interesting conference. And uh, I am sorry that I am uh, leaving the conference. I should get to the, my class. The students are uh, waiting. And uh, see you, inshallah, after one hour here. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Godars. Your, uh...